Okay, you're not ready. Okay, <laughs> there's another bomb. After we were done, we opened the door and saw the girlfriend outside. <laughs> Caught. <laughs> Caught red-handed. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Zula Answers. I'm Brenda and today we managed to invite a very high in demand, very popular, very, very unbelievably good looking Jessly Chia. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. Hi, I'm Jess. And I'm a producer at a small local. Yay. <laughs> yes. Okay, today we are you are here with us, right? Because mm. we are gonna be um reacting to confessions okay. about queer struggles. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And before we begin, maybe uh, you can share a bit about like how you identify and also uh, what your pronouns are. I prefer not to label myself mm. because I don't believe in labeling and I identify as she her. Alright, man. Very good. Uh you, you want to ask me? Yes. Okay. What uh, do I identify as? <laughs> I identify myself as a uh, she, her as well. Okay. Uh, uh, sexual orientation? Straight. Uh, okay. Yes. I'm boring. <laughs> no, I'm yeah! Just yeah! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, we all, we are in big happy family. Yay! Because love is love, mm. right? Mm. Before we begin, right, maybe what are some uh, common queer struggles that you've heard of mm. say like for people living in Singapore right um, firstly is the acceptance la. Mm. the acceptance from be it family or friends yeah. or your colleagues I think that is one of the most common struggles and I think we are very easily frowned upon in the public public eyes so like you cannot like PDA if you want to show si- some signs of like affection in public just maybe like as simple as like holding hands or just like maybe arm around the shoulder when you're on the escalator and mm. shit like that right um, we tend to like hold back just because um. we are scared that the public will be uncomfortable with okay. I mean like, I know I know but you know okay it's very easy to say don't care it's very easy yeah. to say don't care because you are coming from a straight understand. community but okay for me right personally I I don't care mm. but then I I care depending on the environment I'm at. So mm. let's say, for example, People's Park or like Chinatown. Mm. Somewhere that is a bit more populated with like older crowds, right? I will not do anything. Okay. I will not like sh- show my affection. Just yeah. because I know that these kind of people are a bit more traditional, a bit more close-minded. And I just want to like respect their space as much as I want them to respect me. La. All right. Very nice, thanks for sharing. Uh, with that, we'll move on to confession number one. Yes, oh, and, and all these confessions are sent in via our very own Google Forms. Okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. This is from Lucas. Wow. Hi, Lucas. Hi, Lucas. I think I'm in love with my friend who is attached. Ajax. Yes, Ajax. Ajax, indeed. Help! I realise that I have developed feelings for a fucking close friend. Firstly, I grew up in a single mother family and when my mother passed away, I started to shut myself in for the longest time and throughout this period, my friend would send me messages on a daily basis like legit every day. Very hard to find a friend like that eh? who will like take out the time Mm. to text you, even if it's just a simple text. Be it telling me about his day or asking if I'm okay, he will also send me simple quotes or something funny. Eventually, I started to open up again and that's when I realised I would die for him. That escalated. <laughs> Very intense. <laughs> oh my god, that escalated really quickly. Okay. No judgement, no judgement. Yeah. He has been attached for a very long time and I never once thought of ruining his relationship with his girlfriend. But recently, we were at a stay K with our other male friends and we played shoot Shaq Mary and he chose to shoot me. I got fucking pissed. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You said you would be there for me then? Like, what the fuck is this? There was also one time I was having a convo with him about me getting into a relationship. He mentioned that he would totally turn gay for me. Am I thinking too much? I don't know, I feel confused. Is he giving me signals? The thing is, I've never visualised myself with any guys, but why would I feel this way about him? Oh my god. Okay, this oh, is... This is complicated. This is I feel like I need a, a chart. Huh? Go down there, where I draw the timeline. We need to... Oh, this is tough. Okay, maybe we address like the call first, like them okay. being very close friends. Okay. Have you ever fell for um a close or a good friend? Yeah. Uh, who is at that point right like proclaiming that they are straight like maybe they in relationship uh-huh. before okay not that she was in a relationship uh-huh. 
uh, but she was a very very close friend of mine. Mm. We are in a clique. All of us knew that she was straight, but me being that kind of person who like you know I just confess and then see where it goes, right? I did that lah, and then uh, we dated. So I was quite shocked. Like, eh, you not so on straight. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So, which, which, which I, I start to realise that some people, right, will only like that that one person who is of, like, the same sex. Just that person. Just because, like, of the, maybe... The personality. personality or everything just vibes very well. Yes, it was a good run, but if I'm given a second chance, I wouldn't okay. go for it. Mm. Because then, friendship was at stake. Like, it's at stake lah. Uh, we drifted apart after that. But in this context, you were saying... In this context... This context is very tough. It's very it's a roller coaster, right? Eh? You cannot fault like your friend for it because some guys are actually damn nice and they can feel for you. There is no romantic intention. It's just like I just want to be there for you mm-hmm. when you are at your lowest point of your life. So I think you also cannot expect like that he 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 wants something out of it. Maybe it's just purely platonic. Mm. Yeah. I think the highlight or like the core issue, right, to me mm. is like the friend is attached. Yeah. One tip for you, uh, Lucas, is never break someone else's relationship. relationship. Yeah. I've been through in that position before. I, I guess it comes with maturity. Mm. Where you can take yourself out of that position you're in, right? Into a third person's perspective and then you look at everything as a whole, right? You start to realise that it's not in me to want to break someone's relationship off like three years. Yeah, and it's, it's not, not worth it. And it's also like not your right to do it. Like, yeah. Right. I mean, I guess you can only pray silently that like, their relationship is rocky as fuck and then they will just break up. Yeah, yeah then that will be the right time for you to yes. like, say if you are ready to actually yeah. confess. Yeah, correct. It's just that now I think the thing that comes to play is like how Lucas is very confused over his own sexuality that now we also confuse. And also, uh, this friend like made this remark that he would totally turn gay for Lucas. I feel right now in this given context, imagining that, okay, now the friend has a girlfriend, right? Mm. It's like more of like a passing remark. I don't want to generalize like straight guys, mm. but guys in general, they like to give this kind of like passing remarks mm. and, and then not thinking of the consequences. Yeah, especially if you are dealing with someone who is emotionally like yeah. vulnerable. Then you come and say this kind of passing remark, right? To you with like no consequences, right? But to them, uh, it stays with them for life. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... But, but now, right, we don't even know if the friend is... Is gay is or straight. Or straight or gay. Straight, no? Yeah. You Maybe, be, right, it's, it's possible that you just have this very, very great love for this friend. It might just be your great pillar of support. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I hope I hope that we, we helped at least. Like, yeah, but... A bit of advice. But to be honest, I'm a bit, like, invested. If you confess, right, can you send in part 2 and yeah. tell us what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm. let's move on to the next confession. Sent in by A, whoever that is. Um, getting brainwashed into thinking I'm not a lesbian. Okay. Recently, I came out to a couple of family members and got mixed responses. My grandmother is against me being queer and keeps trying to tell me to date guys. On the other hand, my mom has been generally trying to be open about it, but it's against me having a relationship at the moment as she thinks my main focus should be on my studies. While coming out, my grandmother keeps telling me that liking girls is an attitude problem and keeps trying to convince me that it is a phase. After listening to her endless nagging about this topic, I feel like all of a sudden, I have been brainwashed to think that me being a lesbian is also a phase, even though I have been very sure about liking only girls since I was 6, currently 18. Now because of this, I can't even figure out which gender I like and I'm scared that if I try dating a guy, I might back out and hurt his feelings and lead him on. Please help, how do I figure what I want? Dot dot dot. Okay. How Jess? How? I think, okay, um, let's break it down. Yeah, let's break, I think we start off with um, your grandmother, Miss A. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, it's this like very conservative, um, only straight mindset. Mm. I think it's very, very prevalent among especially the older generation. Your grandma, when she grew up, right, like mm. all of her life, right, she was maybe thought that um, it's wrong. So mm. now, right, that she's older, right, she's not that equipped or exposed to all the platforms that we are, like younger yeah. people, you know, we got YouTube, blah. It's very hard for her to accept. And she's probably coming from the point of view as like, 
um, she wants you to be stable, yeah. you know, to be safe in like such a conservative, a more relatively conservative country like Singapore. Mm. And because like this behavior, behavior to your grandma, right, seems more like a out of the norm kind of thing. Mm. And you being out of the norm, it seems very out there for them to accept. Yeah, so that's why I guess that's why she said that this is an ad- attitude problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can't entirely blame your grandma for it. I think it's only right to like not force your beliefs mm-hmm. on, on, on the others. Right? You just give them enough time and space to understand. Yeah. You don't need them to accept, you just need to, them to understand. It takes a while to get there. Mm-hmm. You just need you to be patient. Lor. Not many are as lucky as the ones who are who who who, who has a very accepting family mm. background. But okay, so right, the second part, right, it mentioned that mm. she's so brainwashed to the point that she's starting to suspect, right, that her being lesbian is just a face and then she cannot really figure out which gender she likes. Do you have any mm. advice for that? Like what can she do to help her figure out? I mean, you are just 18, man. You are <laughs> only 18. Go and like, go and go and get together with a guy. Go and get together with a girl for all I care. Mm. Right? Just go and... S- it's... There's no template to like yeah. being in a relationship. Correct? Like, it's like a shoe. You want to get a shoe, right? You have to go and try all kinds of like different different pairs of like brands, what? To yeah. see which one f- uh, fits your fit the best. Mm. Right? It, that, that, that's the best analogy I can give you. Uh. You try... You see whether you like it. You don't care whether other people like think it's right or wrong. Don't limit yourself, right? Yeah. Don't put yourself in that box, lah. Mm. Never put yourself in a box because then it's very suffocating and it's very limiting as a human being, right? I, I do I do feel like maybe like all these things about being brainwashed is maybe also because like the people that she's surrounded by mm. are just not very accepting. I, I do feel like most of the brainwashing comes mm. from the family, right? Yep. So uh do you have any like personal experiences to share where where your family members actually try to convince you that it's a face? And like mm. how how did you overcome it? Mm. I think personally because I'm very strong headed mm. and I know what I want mm. and I know what I am. Right? So I don't really care what my family member thinks about me. So for example, if they say it's a face, I know for sure in my head it, or my heart it's like it's not a face. Mm. I know for sure that I'll want to like be together with the girl. So nothing they nothing they say can stop me lah. So you have to that, that that's my advice for you. You have to be very sure who you are to to move on or to like to take the next step. Yeah. But then bef- that that the process of figuring yourself out takes a very long time lah. So never limit yourself. You don't expect yourself to like figure yourself out in in a year time or like two years. It could be 10, 20, 30 years. Mm. Mm. So, maybe to summarize whatever you mentioned, your advice to A would be, number one, to, like, life is a journey, right? Take the time as long as you want to figure yourself out. And also, don't be scared. I feel like, because there's a lot of fear here of, like, hurting Mm. people's feelings. But Mm. then, when you start a relationship, it's mutual, Mm. so both parties agree to jump into it. So, as long as you are being rational, you know, you're not, like, hurting the other party's feelings, then... I guess just go all out and try. Mm. Alright, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> okay, next one. We have Hans. 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 Okay. Are we more than friends? I am stuck between being just friends and more than friends with this person of the same gender. Maybe I was overreacting, but she would go out of her way to send me home and keep me in company when we were alone. Her actions also radiate the I like you kind of vibe. She would sit awfully close to me and say things like, she wants to date and fall in love with me. When I told her to stop messing around, she would say, No, I'm legit serious. Wow, wow, wow. I'm like, it. What? Except that la. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an audio book, ma. <laughs> I'm like reading a, 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 a storybook, la. Okay, okay. She put my hands. No, I was going to I was like, I wanted to like uh, correct her. <laughs> Sorry, Jessie is not inside the confession. <laughs> we would flirt all the time and my heart would flutter every time. I really started to question myself. After a few months, I decided to confess to her. However, my confession was all over the place. I only talked about myself and didn't give her a chance to speak. One point I said in my confession was that I would like my feelings for her to slowly disappear and I asked for her help with that. She agreed, but when we hung out with each other, she would continue doing the same things. She even held my hand and continued giving me mixed signals with her I still like you kind of vibe. (laughs) I really did not know how to move on. Currently, we, not, we aren't talking much. 
from two friends who text every day to barely sending a simple hey or how are you to one another. Throughout our friendship, I was always overwhelmed with mixed signals and emotions. She would suddenly appear and make my heart flutter, then disappear, leaving me with all the, my bottled up emotions. What should I do? We just got some context yes, yes. from our producer that Hans and um, the friend met like about half a year ago. Right, and then uh, they didn't really know each other yet. Mm-hmm. It was like more, sort of like in a school setting. Mm-hmm. Then um, that girl caught Hans's Hans. attention. So I assume that maybe they are around like early twenties. Yeah, like, like you know, body um, that kind yeah. of age. Uh, so I guess uh, Hans' friend. Can we call her Buns? Okay, Buns. <laughs> okay, Buns. <laughs> we'll give uh, the friend a name, Buns, so it's easier to address her. Okay, so Buns. Yes, anything mm. to say to Buns? I think it's like. Buns is Han's gay awakening. Maybe at this point, then she realized that oh shit, this girl is really attractive, mm. and and she start to realize that oh maybe I like girls. Yeah, maybe so lah. Do you think like, it's also possible that Buns is just generally a very touchy person? Yeah, yeah, it's possible also, it's right? Possible. Because things like hold hands. Are you from Are you from girls' school? <laughs> I don't know. Cause, Wait, okay, like girls' school, right? Straight girls like from girls' school, they're also like. Touchy, touchy mom, ah. but they are just straight. But there are definitely feelings involved, like, I would say. I'm not gonna deny yeah, that. Because yeah. things like uh oh she wants to date and fall in love with me, this kind of thing is not so easy can see out on eh. Mm. Yeah. Confirm like it might be like half joking, you know, half candid, but there's always like that even if it's very, very tiny, there's always a realness to it. One. Mm, yeah. Yeah. For all you know, Buns is also trying out. Like mm-hmm. just testing water with you. Here I'm very confused about the middle part of the confession. Like I wanna know exactly what happened. Especially when um like you know Hans confessed and then mm. she she confessed. I wanna know what happened before she told Buns that she wants her help to um you know move slowly on. move on. Like what what happened in between? What y'all talk about? That made y'all come to a conclusion that okay, we need to let the feelings fade. Why didn't y'all um move forward? To, to you know Build a relationship together Maybe like What I said lor, It's a bit daunting For them la. mm. Like if things Are getting serious Right mm. There is no more Like funny games Right And mm. they actually Legit sit down And thought about Being together Officially right Then it can be Quite daunting For two of them I think that's why They like You know what They don't want to Maybe they choose Not to go through that mm. Then it's like Okay You know what Maybe you should Maybe all this Is just a mistake mm. Yeah I think you need to ask yourself first Like Hans if You need to ask yourself first Whether you need that closure or not uh, Some things don't need closure And if you can live by it right Then Jolly well Don't need the closure like, Don't ask for the closure But if you really need to like Get on with your life right And just to like Figure out what happened A few months back right With mm. that friend You go and address it Like maybe Can we talk Because I don't think yeah. This is a thing that you can discuss Through text right Yeah Like can we can we talk? I I have something that I want to address that is bugging me for a few months, and I think it's only fair that we address what happened a few months ago, just so that uh, everything is clear. Hans, I don't know whether you still want to have this friendship or mm. not, because only then that talk right can can determine where your friendship is gonna go mm. from there on. The key word here is like communication. Yeah, I mean like it's 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 very common la. It's it's the foundation of every relationship, mm. be it friends or romantic relationship. Communication is is the key la. I'm pretty sure Buns is also feeling the same way. Yeah, as you do. as confused as you. Yeah, so be the better woman, I guess. Take the take a step forward la. It can be scary at times, but if you never try, you never know. Never try, never know. In conclusion, if you need closure go and talk to her yes face to face don't talk to through text yeah so but if you don't if you think that if you re-evaluate and you think that closure is not necessary then move on with your life yes no more puns say hi to puns whoa <laughs> <laughs> stupid alright okay. next confession alright this is sent in by Ang alright Ang 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 Caught um, red-handed. Okay, you don't read. Okay, you don't read. read. I want you to like react to the the, the story. Mm. Okay, we've been friends since primary school. Went to different secondary schools, but met again in poly in the same course. He has a girlfriend, but he's dating the girl for clout. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, he told me that he likes me, 
and asked if I'm willing to date him secretly. After some consideration, I agreed to it so I could confirm my sexuality. Are you ready? We had sex in the handicapped toilet after school mm. that day. Disgusting shit. Plus in the handicapped toilet. What if a handicapped disabled person <laughs> needs to use the toilet? Okay, you're not ready. Okay, there's another bomb. After we were done, we opened the door and saw the girlfriend outside. <laughs> Caught red handed. Oh so now God. they are arguing and I feel very bad. Please give me some advice. Wow, this is so fucked up. I don't even know how to save you, Sia. I think like it's more common than we think. Mm. You know, mm. like guys not opening up about their sexuality and just dating girls, right? Because mm. it's like a smoke screen. Mm -hmm. But actually, secretly, they are dating yeah. guys. Yeah. So common. Honestly, I think now, right, the problem, uh, the, the one that has more problems uh, is the friend. Yeah, yeah. The fact that he, he got caught by his girlfriend, he in, in a way, he got forced out of the closet. If he, if he didn't get forced out of the toilet. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But uh, you know, if, if the girlfriend is not there, then he will continue being in the closet. Yeah, right? that's true. Right now, they are arguing, right? And it seems like he's not ready to let everyone know about his sexuality. So mm. what should he do? Because if the girlfriend is like very angry, very vengeful. Then some more she got clout. She she quite famous. Yeah, right, I guess. the fact she that out you, she bring out all the receipts. Yes, yeah, I think she will bottle you, yeah. So I think right now, right, what's important is that come clean to her. Like okay, so are you gay or are you bi? You know, it's possible that mm. that he's bi, right? Mm. And then uh, like let her know lah that uh, you would you would really appreciate. If um, she can keep it to herself And that you are fucking sorry mm. If you're not sorry for cheating right? I don't know what to say But if things still spread Then honestly You have to deal with it Because you made the decision to cheat lah. The call is right You cheated lah bro Yeah eh What the f- Yeah eh <laughs> oh my god sorry We need to address this part You fucking cheated yeah. You cheated <laughs> That doesn't look good on you eh You cheated and it's like Not like anyone tempt you eh. yeah. You go and own self Ass eh, To yeah. cheat eh. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious me eh. I mean the foundation of the, the You and your girlfriend From the beginning Is like for clout eh. So it's like You don't even have feelings really. Yeah I mean there is a lot of ways To go about If you are in a relationship with I'm, I'm speaking of like Aang's friend The guy If you are in a relationship With a girl And you are also confused Of your sexuality right I think if your relationship Is solid enough And then you just ask Your girlfriend for a wild card Say Babe I think like I'm not very sweet. I want to mm. try something adventurous. Can I have the wild card? As long as like you in a way indirectly get a con got the consent from your partner. Mm. Yeah, I mean I have a few friends getting doing that wild card thing. Oh. I think it, 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 it only works if you're in a very healthy relationship. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Like there's trust. a lot of trust. Yeah, correct. Judging from this scenario, the relationship is not strong. Yeah, and, and, and the girlfriend probably has zero clue <laughs> yeah. about uh Ang's friend being being gay Yeah so You should have just Take a break from the relationship Or like just break up first One is the girlfriend Will be so angry at the situation And then Break off with you Right then and then mm. Or number two She will be willing to To forgive you Right But then You won't be happy Cause Cause I'm pretty sure that After that sex There is some like Awakening That mm. you realise That You might not want to be Together with the girl anymore So it can go both ways lah it's really up to Ang's friend to like go and figure that shit out. Wow, this one is like Ang helping the friend send the confessions. Yes, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. are helping the friend. But yeah. Ang, I think you deserve a lot more. Hmm. You deserve to, to, to date someone who is proud to have you as a person. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 no, one no one on this earth right, deserves to be called a Xiao San hmm. or to, to, to hide your relationship underground or be like the third party. La. You don't deserve that, that yeah. kind of treatment. I think just believe that you are worth more yes. than being like someone's secret date. Yeah. Alright, so that's all the confessions we have today. Uh, maybe since you know a common theme uh, surrounding all these four confessions is that these individuals are rather confused, right? Mm. So what are some advice you'll give to people who are struggling to find their identity? I think the most important point is that never rush yourself to figure out who you who you are as a person. Like I said many many times in past videos and even in this video that there is no template, mm. right? There is no uh, correct timeline as to how how fast or how slow you figure yourself out. Mm. Take that time and that space that you need to go and try and and, and test 
whatever relationship works for you lah. If you are confused, I think never, never pull another party into the into the situation. Yeah, I think that's when, like, situation can get a bit sticky and complicated lah, unnecessarily. Mm. I mean, it's your journey, ma. It's your journey alone. Yeah, no one is gonna like hold your hand throughout the journey. Sure, there will be friends holding you throughout the journey, but they are not the one who will figure yourself out for you. And uh, with that, thank you so much for watching this episode of Zuba Answers. Thank you, yes. Jess, for joining us. Yes. I want more, I want more, I want more. Oh, okay, evidently you love it very much. So I love it. hopefully uh, we'll have a part two with Jess. Yes. Yeah, please watch. If the view pass 1K, uh. we will do another one. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> if 1K, yes, 100K. I say 1K ah. because I really want to do it. No, like, <laughs> wait, better, better click onto this video and then share. Uh, just don't share to my mother. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, 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 thank you so much for watching and um, if you like this video and you want to see Jess again, remember to like, share and subscribe and oh, don't forget to send in your confessions uh, in the link in the, the description box below and we will see you in the next video. Bye -bye. I mean, I will see you oh, with yes. Bolin but we will see her again soon. Yes. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>